What's up everyone? It's Leo from Esamigas. I know I'm by myself, um, but I'm here to show you guys a little mask that I've been using for a little. I know I look crazy right now. Um, as you guys know, I've had I've had very I've had very problematic skin since I don't know five years ago. And it's something that I don't know what to do. My skin's just like very imbalanced. Like right now I'm, I'm gluten free. So I'm trying out to be gluten free to see how my skin reacts to that. But today I'm going to show you guys this turmeric, um, this turmeric face mask that you can do. And what this does, it lightens up your skin. So it like um lightens up any dark spots and stuff i've been using it for a little bit so i can put um the first data that, that i used it and um and then i'll show you guys how my skin looks today i had a little bit of a breakout and i think because i had a little bit of dairy which i know is bad i don't drink milk or anything but um i had cheese cheese is my biggest weakness man um but here i go i'm going to show you guys what i have so first of all you need turmeric and I don't know if you can see that there it's focused it's focused over here it's focused. oh whatever um so you need to, let me go up closer sorry guys it's gonna clear up no it's not gonna get clear but you need turmeric um you need turmeric, you can buy this anywhere, you can buy this. I bought this at Whole Foods for about, um, for about four bucks, I believe. Um, then you need some, it's all stained. Then you need some, um, plain yogurt. Um, you need a bowl and you need a spoon. Oh, also you need lemon. Let me go get that, I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. Sorry guys, so I know I look crazy. I probably have like pink spots because I finished just doing a slime video with Abby. So um, yeah, I did a slime video so I have like colors all over me. Sorry about that, I apologize in advance. But right, so I have the lemon, the yogurt, the turmeric. Some people add honey to it, but I, I feel like honey is not as great for my skin unless it's like, you know, manuka or something. But manuka is mad expensive. So, you know, I went a little low with the, the stuff. If you ain't trying to spend too much, then this is the way to go. Okay, so what you're going to want to do is um, open the yogurt. I can't even open it. Open the yogurt. Pour it in the bowl. Ew. Did this go bad already? Okay, so then just mix it because this is like a weird one. I don't know. Um, don't be fancy as me. You can get anything in the ground, honestly. Okay. So after you have that, now my hands are all dirty and I need something to clean it with. Um, so I'm just going to take one of these because ain't nobody got time for that. So be getting up this stuff. So okay, so once you have it, you mix your yogurt. Then you want to take some of your turmeric powder and you want to pour um, a good amount. Um, don't really, it's not really measured or anything. You just want it, to, want it to look yellow. So I put some in. I'm gonna stop stir. I'm gonna start stirring. Um, you see, it's not yellow yet. It's more like a cream color. So. You want to add more turmeric than nah, this side because.
it's nice and yellow so this is how yellow you want it so then now you're gonna um squeeze some lemon in it because you know lemon be the toxin and the skin antioxidants and stuff <laughs> just kidding if you guys are wondering where i'm from i'm from rhode island so don't mind my new england accent so I'm gonna use just use my hands. My hands are pretty clean. I clean them. I just have some new brown, which I don't want to put on my face now. So um, I'm gonna take some, just rub it all over my face. I don't have no brush. I ain't super fancy. Like I don't care about getting my hands a little dirty. So I'm just gonna put it on my face. Get it all around. sure if you're addicted to popping them I don't know what I'm saying don't mind me okay I think I have it everywhere so I'm gonna leave on this mask for about 15 minutes I'm gonna go wash my hands and I'll be right back guys so now we wait for the mask to get hard I'm gonna wait about 10 minutes okay so sister just got here guys so i believe about the mask is about it's pretty hard i waited about 10 minutes or so probably a little over um i'm gonna go wash off the mask and i'll be right back um the i just don't want to bring my camera into the bathroom or anything because it's such a hassle but you're gonna want to wash your um your face you can either take a warm towel um wet it i use a microfiber towel i use it i um I uh, put warm water on it and I, I take off the mask slowly. That's how I do it. Um, and then I'll show you what I do after with my skin. Okay, so I'll be right back. Hey guys, I'm back. Oh my God, my face. I feel like my face still looks kind of yellow. So that's why I um, I just like rub, make sure I take, so this is how I use it. Just pretend the mask is on and I just take it off slowly like this with warm water. I probably have extra on me anyway, so let me just make sure I take it all out. My skin was, it's, I just decided to do this because I had the yogurt sitting there and I just didn't want it to go bad. I was supposed to do this about two weeks ago, um, but I did break out recently. Got that. I think it's from dairy. I had, I had Chipotle the other day so and I just can't resist the cheese you know um so yeah guys this is how my skin looks after the mask um don't think that's gonna look it's gonna look like this for everybody everybody's skin is different I have very problematic skin I get very I get a lot of hormonal acne down here so I'm working on it um you know try my best 
So after I take off the mask, I like to put a toner on my face. I'm like running out, but I like to use witch hazel. You can buy this bottle at Walmart for like four bucks, I think the cheapest. So um, just put some on a little cotton ball and just go all over my face. Cause this also helps with the discoloration and any redness in the face. Oh yeah, look at that. I still have a whole bunch of the mask on me. Um, let's just do that all around town. All around town. All around town. Take another one and put more. My sister's in the background. She's like laughing at me because I'm doing a tutorial. Like what's your problem? Is there a problem? Okay then. Don't mind that. Okay. Alright. One more because, you know. And then just dab in the areas like this right here. Oh, all that red is gone. Okay. So there you guys have it. I'm gonna put the picture of how my skin looked before and I'm gonna take a picture of so I took a picture more of this area, so I'll I'll um I'll put up a picture of how the first day I used it and then how my skin looks now after using it again. Um also if you guys um wanna know how my journey goes with my gluten-free process. Um, I'll let you guys know about that. Just let me know if you guys want me to do a video because I'm really trying to see if gluten is the problem to my skin. Um, if there's any skin gods out there, if there's any skin gods out there, please let me know what I what, sh what should I do. What else triggers? I know I know dairy is a big part of it, but what else triggers hormonal acne, stress? I know stress and all that kind of stuff does too, but you know some weird stuff that people don't really know about, like gluten and stuff. So. Um, Thank you for you guys for watching this tutorial on how to do the turmeric mask. Um, make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. And give this video a thumbs up. And, um, okay. She's annoying. And make sure you guys turn your post notifications on, okay? Just let me know if you guys want any more tutorials. I can I can do a, um, a hair one, a curly hair one. I can do more masks. It's not the only mask that I use. And I can also show you guys my fitness journey, my and also my skin journey. So stay tuned, guys. Thank you for watching. Bye. Bye.